Hey guys, it's Catherine, and I'm going to talk to you today about everything I know about erasers. My swatch is here that I'm going to be testing the erasers on. Uh, this first one is graphite, the Prismacolor. A bit of charcoal here. Prismacolor brush pens are alcohol based, I believe, the Faber Castell, and de ink. Um, now, the reason that these are important is because you might be doing a sketch in pencil and then you want to ink it and then you want to erase your pencil at the end and you've erased all of that deep bridge plaque that you have. So our first eraser is the pink pearl and the pink pearl is pink because it is not natural. <laughs> Rubber does not come out of the ground pink. It is this color because it is dyed this color. That being said, what do you think would happen if you rub this on a piece of white paper? It's going to leave that pink behind. I don't recommend these. These are a school staple and that is that is why it's for schools and kids, it's not for artists. I don't recommend any eraser that has a dye in it, green, blue, black. This is Pink Pearl, it's by Papermate. Prismacolor also makes one. You can get three of these by the Papermate for $2.04. Magic Rub, it also is by Papermate. You can see that they have these little holes in canyons and stuff in them, or craters, not canyons, allude to how much this crumbles. If you are using it a bunch, it will just break in half. Studler Electric Eraser. I'm not really sure about the price of this. I got mine at Hobby Lobby. I remember it being expensive. I don't remember it being $79.99 using a sandpaper stump, but sand down the eraser so that it makes a point. It's a really long barrel for this eraser. Let's see if I can get it open. No. I'm gonna there we go. I think the reason I didn't like this and I kind of stopped using it is because it would break. runs out too fast and so as you're doing that and you'll rub it against the paper and it will scratch the paper off that's i think that's why i stopped using it so here's my next thing it is this high polymer pentel eraser it has this little sleeve so it keeps the eraser clean you can get three of these for 272 um they're not going to rip your paper that's another thing that you have to think about uh, with erasers is how abrasive they are. I like any kind that's like white plasticky, but this one's a harder one. Pretty smeary. Um, you want to use this for like larger areas, not for like fine detail, because it is harder. The softer ones, I don't think won't do this weird like apple core shape as much. Faber Castell Tri Grip Eraser. This one's really hard and it's not quite as springy as the Pentel. It's good for like larger areas as well. It's supposed to be ergonomic. I don't know if I said that already. You can get three of these for $5.50. I think the reason I don't use this quite as much also is that it's a little bit harder on your paper. Okay, so the next thing that we need to talk about, and this is important, something that's really close to my heart, <laughs> needed erasers. These I've probably had since high school. <laughs> these I've probably had in college, and this is like a newer one. So these are both Prismacolor, and these are Stan um, the Stanford design. And then they also come in different sizes. This would be a large, this would be a small, but um, they're cold when you start out with them. You have to kind of work them in your hands the design is higher quality than the Prismacolor. I've had these forever because they still work great. They don't kind of like dry out and break. Things I like needed erasers for, uh, you can make little sculptures out of them. <laughs> um, they're good for charcoal drawing, uh, for softer edges. You can pick up a little bit of charcoal here and you can like kind of make a couple marks, like, like different marks depending on what kind you want. So you can make tiny little points make little eraser marks. The harder they are, 
the easier it is to pick up. I had a teacher in high school who had a black needle eraser and everyone was just looking around at each other when he was showing us about like the erasers. Like, ew, why do you have that? He's like, I've had this for 40 years. Best teacher for technical application of art I've had ever. Mr. Yeomans would say like, I would never trade anybody a hundred needle erasers for my one black needle eraser. You know, and I don't like the small ones because I think they're just too hard to work with. Prisma, um, 274, and then the design, five, um, 273 for one. <laughs> okay, so that's another thing too about the needle eraser is that you're no rub. You're not rubbing. You're kind of rolling to just like pick up. Tough Stuff Eraser Stick by Paper Made. I'm gonna tell you something about the Tough Stuff Paper Made, okay? Okay, it's made in Japan. Okay. And I love this. I love it, love it, love it, love it. It's really hard. I like that. And it's small. I like that. They make, you know, the bigger clicky ones, but I prefer this. This is more of like a I mean, it's more of like a mechanical pencil than like this. Um, it's hard. It doesn't smear. It's got this rubberized body. The body is six forty nine, which I think is really high. I don't think I paid that much for it. And the refills. There's two in here. Um, Four sixty two for two of them. You can shave parts of it off to make certain shapes. When you're erasing, one thing that you want to keep in mind is not pressing too hard. Why? Well, I'm sure you already know that's going to rip your paper if you press too hard, but did you know that adding that much friction to the paper and the graphite can actually burn the graphite into your paper and making it almost impossible for it to come off? My favorite! Stiller Mars Plastic Eraser $1.49 uh, But they're just so versatile The thing about these though, they're not good for ink I think the best one for the charcoal needle eraser Best one for the color pencil This one And the best one for the charcoal seems to be this one available that I've used are the Factus and the Factus is extra soft which I love and it's $1.49 and it, um, it's weird like when you're using it because it leaves like long strands of eraser dust really weird because you can like kind of scrunch them back together not like you'd want to use it but it's it's vinyl it's just kind of weird it's made by uh, Generals and they're in a white card as well to keep them clean dust free which is also made by Faber-Castell thing about these, it's clear. It's like a plastic clear. It's not like a white one. When you're erasing it, it doesn't leave like little bits of dust. It leaves like long strands of the dust. As It's not dust. It's like long strands, which sticks to your paper. And I feel like that could be more annoying because it's like harder to like get it away. Like the fact is it sticks to the eraser. The dust free sticks to the paper. And last thing that I want to talk about is the art gum. I have these in like kindergarten and all I remember of them is just how much mess they would make. Like you'd rub your hand against it and it would just like be crumbling. Oh, my hair. It would just be like crumbling all over the place. It's a natural co color of rubber. When you do your charcoal drawing on your canvas, they're the best ones to use to erase the charcoal on canvas because regular erasers could be too abrasive on the canvas. An erasing shield, that's what this little piece of metal is. So if you want to have a little edge that looks like this when you're erasing something, just get your little erasing shield out and erase inside. It's like a stencil for an eraser. And you have a nice little shape in there. And the best thing about erasers is brushing it away thanks for watching guys if you have any questions about any erasers or if you would like to recommend an eraser to me so let me know i'll see you guys in the next one bye